All right, talking about the Cavalry Republican Senate candidate, Adam Laxalt in Nevada. The numbers look great. Mr. Laxalt, welcome back, as always. Adam, I am told, look, I'm not on the ground there. You're in the middle of the thing, obviously, that uh, your opponent, Catherine Cortez Masto, she's got a big problem with Latin voters, Latino voters, who are worried about crime, whereas uh, Masto apparently is not. Is that the case? Is crime an issue? There was a New York Times poll this morning that had the, the gap eight points. And to give some perspective, she won by 42 points with that group in 2016. So it's moved a lot. Uh, there's no question crime is a big concern. The BLM riots hit Las Vegas. People remember that. They remember that she did not stand with law enforcement. She would not put an end to those riots in our city. And uh, look, we're a tourist town. I mean, we cannot be the community we are if somehow we get a bad reputation on, on law and order issues. And so it's a big issue. But hey, COVID shutdowns was a big issue. Education is a huge issue. The economy, gas prices. I mean, Hispanic voters have every reason on earth to break from Catherine Cortez Masto in this race. I understand also she used to use this Latinx business, but the Hispanics don't like that either. Oh, yeah, she had the big old plaques behind her with the progressive groups last year. Uh, you, 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 can, you can scour the Internet and you can't find that stuff now once they finally poll tested it. Uh, this is the bottom line is that Senator Matt Cortez Masto has been a radical leftist. She has voted with Bernie Sanders 94 percent of the time. He was here uh, just a few days ago and he rallied for her both in Reno and Las Vegas. Larry, there was like 100 people at both events, no enthusiasm, and she didn't show up. So she didn't show up for Joe Biden. She didn't show up for Kamala Harris. Uh, and, and the bottom line is she's hiding from her record. She does not want people to say, uh, do you support their agenda? Because she's been lying to voters for the last many months that somehow she's independent. Mm. Uh, but I think finally people have seen through it over the last many weeks, which is why we're ahead. But it's very, very close, Larry. I mean, this, this thing is going to be a barn burner. We're certainly going to fight all the way to the end. Well, so Adam Laxall, today's breaking news, Biden's attacking the oil companies, wants a windfall profits tax. Bernie Sanders says 95 percent. I don't know why they don't just go to 100 percent. But that's if, if Vegas is this big tourist place, I would think they would want low oil prices and low gasoline prices. So taxing oil companies, really? You've got to walk me through that. I don't get it. Yeah, and look, it's almost $6 here. Every other battleground oh. state you're covering is three and change. So it's already so unaffordable. We had texts at the end of the summer. People were supposed to keep their thermostats at 78 degrees. This is a huge problem. And despite Joe Biden and Senator Catherine Cortez Masto pretending like this isn't their policy, we all know they reduced the supply. And if they're going to add a brand new tax, that'll only disincentivize that even more. These people simply do not learn. They, they learn the wrong lessons from what's going on in reality. You add that to the list, why well, I think people are going to give me a green check mark on November 8th. All right. Adam Laxalt, Nevada. Looks, looking good. Good luck on the campaign trail. Thanks for coming back on. We appreciate it.